Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away to the reading. Okay. So, uh, the first card which represents Scorpio's topic for the week, that is going to be uh, the Ace of Cups. Followed by the second card which stands for the uh, challenges that Scorpio needs to overcome here, that will be the Seven of Swords. Furthermore, we do have the positive aspect of the week for Scorpio, that will be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And the last one, which stands for the Guidance of Scorpio, that will be the page of cups. My God! Well, it's uh, it's a very good week for Scorpio. I'm gonna lie. I mean, I'm quite excited, really, to to see those cards and and pretty much looking forward for the week itself, guys. Uh, it seems that the week um, will offer us many things that we can happy about. That we can be happy about. Uh, but literally, what these cards are pointing is that we're gonna offer exactly what we're lacking. All right. So if you lack a relationship, relationship, an opportunity for a relationship is going to come around. If you are lacking, you know, a good career, an opportunity for making a good career is going to come around and so on and so forth. But once again, let's go through the cards. So the first one as a topic, that will be the Ace of Cups, followed by the second one, which is the, the challenge, that will be the Seven of Swords. Then we do have the Ace of Pentacles standing for the positive aspect and the last one, this is to be the Page of Cups, which stands for the Guidance. Okay, so uh, Ace of Cups is a topic. It does um, represent, just as uh, with uh, Virgo, I believe, was uh, quite of an, an exhilarating experience that we are to have throughout um, the week. Extraordinary experience, which offers us a, an impending change. But apart, uh, what, uh, what is different from Virgo is that this change for us Scorpios are going to take place exactly where we are struggling at, all right? While for Virgo was an uh, something new that comes around, for us this change takes place exactly where we are struggling at. So uh, that being said, if your marriage, for example, is on the rock and you really struggle into the marriage, some impending change takes place into the marriage that completely reverses the situation from poignant and of situation of of the doom and gloom into a, a situation that actually the marriage can be fixed, okay? Same thing goes in regards to your career. So whatever we are struggling at, this is exactly where the um, the Ace of Cups takes place, some new events, you know, or a new circumstances appearing, which are making the current troublesome situation completely irrelevant, just like I said with Virgo. And, uh, uh, in one way or another actually is going to make our wish come true because our wish at that point is to improve our status in this situation. For example, we are single, we wish to improve that status, you know, to be with someone. Well, you have an opportunity here. An impending, impending change comes around that helps you to improve your circumstances in regards to being single and so on and uh, so uh, forth. The accompanied card here, that is to be the judgment. 
So the uh, combination here, it is a passive enemies that we do have and the judgment points that these circumstances or events are going to uh, relate to a, a something completely new that takes place into the current situation. For example, uh, we're not talking about reconciliations here, but a, a brand new suitor. That is just for an example. Or we're not talking about settling peace over a disagreement, but finding a, a, a new agreement and new uh, and new prerequisite for a, a common ground with our husband. Okay, So for example, you want to buy a house and you and your husband or a wife, that is, doesn't matter, have a disagreement upon the house. One of you wants to buy it, the other one doesn't want to buy it. Okay, and this, these cards are not saying that you are going to find a common ground and a compromise to buy the house, but a new house is going to appear on the horizon that this time around you both are going to have a, an affinity to buy it. And that completely is going to extinguish, you know, the argument you do have for the current house you want to buy. All right. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a brand new circumstance, which drastically or dramatically, should I say that way, imp will improve your uh, circumstances in regards to uh, the troublesome situation that you're finding yourself at. If I have to scale my, uh, my life here, there is only two ways how these cards can uh, affect me, you know. One of them is that, you know, I'm going to have a girl to date with, or the other one is that just before I made that reading, actually, it came to my a project came to my mind that I'm currently negotiating with a friend of mine. So uh, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, we have a um, a meeting tomorrow, a business meeting to discuss the project and to see can it happen or not. Uh, it will regard to numerology. And uh, I really hope that it actually takes place. But we're going to see that, you know, I mean, I cannot speak more in these early stages because the idea came to me literally 20 minutes ago so yeah but it's it, the change is already happening even though i'm not into the week june 3rd to june 9 2019 so uh here what we do have it is the uh challenge itself and that will be the seven of swords so the challenge uh, could stand in a couple of ways here the first um way how the seven of swords can incorporate itself as a challenge is that we may uh, not settle our score or we may have a difficulty to forget about the previous situations that we are traversing into a, a more positive one like i said with the houses all right you may have now agreement upon a new house to buy upon the new house to buy but you still may hold a grudge to your wife or a husband that they did not uh, uh, aligned with your opinion for the old one okay so that will be the challenge here to just let go okay just let go of this uh, troublesome situation and enjoy the new circumstances which are fixing the grand scheme of things uh, for you the other way how the seven of swords could appear is settling scores so another um another example i'm going to give to you is like, um, let's say that you are uh, contributing into a very troublesome project in regards to your career and completely new circumstances are appearing that are improving the project itself, but you need to settle score with coworkers, okay? For example, selling to one coworker of yours that they have no place any longer in there, so on and so forth. So the challenge here is going to be to have a strong backbone, okay, and to... Um, how can I describe it? And to pretty much withstand your position, fixing upon the the beneficial factors of the position, because arguing over a thing that is no longer relevant, uh, it's it's no beneficial position at all. Okay, so sometimes this card comes as an internal struggle to me. Uh, it comes as a um, how can I describe it? It's, it comes more as a matter of a pride than anything else. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Two of Cups and the formation that we do have. It is the active uh, neutrals. So we definitely are talking about a rather uh, different opinions and a mismatching of a, uh, of a, a ground of opinions here where one is unwilling to make a compromise, just like I gave, or gave the example with... Uh, <clears throat> With the house situation, should you find such a situation, it could be as well about traveling, you know, I mean, your wife, let's say, may decide to uh, 
to want a vacation on the on the Bahamas, you want on Hawaii, and where do you want to go? Where where are you going? I mean, it's kind of like you both are fighting over that one, and uh, unwillingness to make a compromise is going to be a rather a, a challenge. And under a compromise, I mean that even though the third option is going to be appear uh, is going to appear uh, to you, you may still be stubborn. Not just because you don't like the third option here by the Ace of Cups, but because you know you really want to have it your way. It's kind of like a matter of pride. So the pride itself, Scorpio, is going to be a, a big issue for you. And I hope that you will have the strength to put your pride on the shelf. But nonetheless, uh, going to the next card, which represents uh, the positive aspect of the week. That will be the Ace of Pentacles. And so these new circumstances are the rare opportunity for you to further your goal. Your grand goal, that is. Success into your business, uh, harmoniously flow into your relationships, either romantic relationship, marriage or business relationship. It doesn't matter. You can achieve it by clinging or hanging into these new circumstances appearing to you, either in regards to career, relationship, social circle or maybe in all of these uh, all of these fields. These new circumstances are going to dapple your life with extraordinary amounts of content. And suddenly, uh, beforehand, you may have your daily, day-by-day -day routine pretty much grey, you know. Every day, every day you do the same thing and nothing really changes. And at the end of the day, you, uh, you kind of like close your eyes, preparing to sleep with the same troubles on your head. And now everything shifts, now everything is, is, is different, everything is more brighter, everything is more colorful. Now you see reason, you know, to push on forward with your goal, with your idea, with your relationship, marriage, business, and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here, that is to be the High Priestess. And the formation, it is a passive uh, friends. The High Priestess to the, uh, to the Ace of Pentacles only points that whatever this opportunity to further your goal is, it's a long-term one. It's just what the high priest is points. And additionally to that, it points that uh, you are not going to have a, a severe setbacks along the way. It simply is going to be something that goes fluent, that goes smooth, that it is um, exactly as you plan it. So uh, that being said, however, it's going to take a lot of time. These cards are very slow in development. So you cannot expect that everything is going to happen overnight. Just like I told you with the project. The project itself, probably, um, with my project here, probably is going to happen in one year. I don't know, but it's not going to happen definitely in this week. Because uh, we do have a lot of things to discuss with uh, with my friend. We do have an, an algorithm to create beforehand, and then it has to be programmed. I need to input, you know, text behind, and it's, it's going to be a... Um, a tremendous undertaking, but I hope that at the end we, we will be able to present it to you guys. But yeah, I mean, this rare opportunity for you, these new circumstances are going to give you a, a long-term development that is going to be not explosive and fast-progressing one, but it's going to be a slowly but yet consistent consistently progressing development. So if it is about a, a suitor that you're going to date with, you know, you're going to take your time dating to get to know each other. Probably the first kiss is going to come around after a couple of weeks or maybe after a month and so on and so forth. But that will uh, allow you to build up a, a very steady emotional connection to one another, a connection that it is very difficult to break moving on forward into the future. And that is well described with the last card. I mean, this slow progression is very well described with the last card, which is the Page of uh, Cups. So, these new circumstances or events are manifesting themselves. And you need to assess your current position. This is what the Page of Cups points as a guidance. You need to assess your current position according to these new events and these new, um, you know, new circumstances. You cannot allow to sit on outdated positions. The page of cups here points that things are changing, things are about to change. And as a matter of fact, a, a major one change that is, it is coming, uh, it is looming on the horizon. And it is crucial here that you readopt your position and attend more to the overview rather than to the minor and irritating details. The accompanied card here that is to be the Seven of Cups formation. It is a passive uh, friend, a passive supporters, and the Seven of Cups to the Page of Cups points that your dream, that your 
achievements can't be as big as your dreams. It is what these cards are saying to you guys. Your dreams, are they fantasies or seeds growing? Yet remains to be known. So um, that kind of like um, boosts my spirit right now because I am usually not a very consistent person, but probably this this project of mine and of my friends as well, because I cannot do it on my own. Um, it's something that can't be done, right? That that comes here in the uh, in the guidance, and uh, I should be more. How do you say it in English? I should be not not exactly more consistent, but as well more determined, if I may express myself that way, to to do it and more responsible as well. But yeah, that that being said, Scorpio, it's a very positive week for us guys. Uh, things are gonna take turn for the better, a tremendous turn for the better. Uh, one last word here is that most likely these circumstances and these. Um, uh, these events are going to happen uh, very spontaneously, out of nowhere, in the last moment when we are not expecting anything to change, where we are pretty much gave up and so on and so forth. But uh, <clears throat> as these things are appearing, or rather like as the, as the situation shifts, uh, the more we are going to start experiencing these extra, we, we, this, the more we will have those extraordinary experiences which are to transcend our daily reality and we will start tasting how our wishes and our dreams are coming true. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading Scorpio, June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys, and I uh, hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.